Are they gonna, have they already stage struck, or are they just gonna? I don't know. They made us do battlefield. Just yeah, we'll see. Cause lol. Oh, okay, we're not actually getting both neutral colors. We got the uh, blue jacket Falco. Well, white jacket, but it like looks blue. I don't know. It's weird. This has been another pointless moment. Exactly. <laughs> well, I don't know. Aest aesthetics are important. Anyway, so I, we're going I, to battlefield. I have worse things I can talk about. Uh, they're gonna do neutral start. Yeah, the top Falco being above Fox is honestly kind of an Im yeah. Im Falco being above start, Yeah. It's like, oh, I have a dare. It's a full combo. Yeah. You know. Okay. Oh, what a call out with that up air. That was insane. Yeah. Like he s he knew. Okay, you're coming off the platform here. I'm gonna catch you with this up air. Right. That's that's how that's how it is for Fox a lot of the time. Where like you can aggress, but it's a lot safer to just make just sort of non-specific reads. Like. Yeah. He knew that Emo Dinosaur had the option to drop through and down air from the platform, but he also knew that if he does that up air and Emo Dinosaur takes that action, yeah. he's safe. Same and thing he gets yeah, he gets a reward. Like th that was a very safe up air, but it, like he got a huge uh, amount of reward off of it. Right. So, so I think in a lot of matchups, I think it's it's a good idea to maybe not edge guard as aggressively and just give them the edge and hold center. But I think in this yeah. matchup, I saw Kevin give him the edge, and I, I wasn't sure about that because I thought uh, Falco a character who you really don't want to give him that opportunity to establish his presence on stage again, right? If you can, yeah. Yeah, so I think... Kevbot dash dancing around the center trying to do exactly that. I think that drop through bear was really smart. He, did, he gets a trade, which is not what he wanted, but if he had not traded, he actually could have converted that into a full edge guard, so that yeah. was really smart. But Emo Dinosaur firing right back, gets a dash attack. Not much off it, though. Oh, yeah, the late dare is uh, going to steal that yeah. stock. That was really important. Like, the thing is, he's now at a crouch cancel percent as Falco, like most of the crouch cancel percent. Right. So it's like, you really There's wanted... This, this oh, new threat. Yeah. yeah, just with the lazy boy up throw up smash, he gets Falco off stage. Beautiful short for Mimo Dinosaur though. Right, yeah. I'm I'm always interested when like what people will choose off their up throw follow ups. <laughs> yeah, like, for sure. Some people are like Kevbot and they're simple and clean. Yeah, Fox so, has what I do is I tend to either do up air like one hit or two hits because I'm just I'm complicated for some reason. Yeah, well Fox has a lot of options. He's like DI mix ups yeah. and do like and you shine, see, you see like the shine there for the knockdown. Yeah. Um the so thing, yeah. There's just a lot to be done. See, there's a lot of ways to cover that tech, and you see Kevbot using Wave Dash Down. There's Jump Laser on the platform. There's yeah, simply up sure. airing on the tech in, and then like trying to get something if they don't do it. Yeah, that was a uh, bit of a sloppy edge guard from Kevin. He looked like he knew where uh, he was going to side B, but he just wasn't spaced correctly. Right. Um, anyways, the thing I want to see, uh, knowing Kevin's playstyle, he has a lot of really interesting tech traps. I want to see if Emo Dinosaur is not going to be falling for those tech traps, or if he's going to get it, take a bunch of damage from no techs. F throw. Okay. Oh, these shortens from Rio Dinosaur. I, let's, see if Kevin, let's see if Kevbot starts adapting to them. That's the real question. Okay, yeah, no shorten that time. Yeah. I think he tried, and Emo Dinosaur just didn't bite. There was yeah. no real reason to. Oh, Crouch Cancel into Up yeah, that was, I love that. Yeah, That's, that. I love how that happens sometimes. It's like, pretty silly. You can't Crouch Cancel the Up Smash. Yeah. Because if you, you Crouch just Cancel die. this, you get up aired and die. If you don't Crouch Cancel it, you die anyways. I love that. That's great. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that was a really nice. I, I like uh, just sort of the slow walk to the center because he was. Right. I think Kevbot was at a height where even if he had side B not shortened, uh, Emo Dinosaur would have gone above him and Emo Dinosaur could have just reacted and forward smashed his landing just on side right B. I think he covered everything. That. I like the lasers he's setting up. Kevin finding trying to find a way in. Almost does with that down air. Oh, yeah, just this that. Could be big. I it? don't like how he. Uh, he didn't move at all after right, he, he saw that he clearly DI'd away the, the he up didn't smash. Aggressively I, pursue. He might have been looking for like a roll. I don't that, think that might have been like an up smash or an up tilt or something that would have been bigger. Yeah, I don't think he even needed oh, to aggressively pursue. He just needed thing. to position. Oh wow, Battlefield helping out Kevin on that last stock. Kevin with a cut ball with a clean two stock. All right. This is best of three, I believe. Best three. We but this is still winners. We got ourselves a crowd. We got some people. Yeah, we yelling. got the Davis, the Davis crew, uh, repping for Kevin. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if Emo Dinosaur's got any uh, homies. That can be rough when you you got people cheering for your opponent and then no one's behind you. Okay, I, I like so. Pokemon. Uh, probably what this probably means is that um, is that Emo Dinosaur is confident in his platform. All right, combo yeah. game, right? Because normally the thing is, Fox would probably win, uh, win the stage a lot. At least one reason he might win the stage is because Falco doesn't kill off the top that much, right? Uh, except with the you know shine into Uppy, which you don't get as much, but it's, Fox does, yeah, and like in a short. So it seems kind of intuitive, but he does have room to run around in laser, which he seems very happy to do. And he also is probably very confident of his platform follow-up game, which is probably why he didn't select FD, for example. All right, but if that's true, oh, no, why, no, no. why not go to Yoshi's story where there's more platforms? Actually, that are shorter. Hmm. That's a good question. Well, maybe he wants the room to the room to run around because this is basically FD with two platforms, and Kevin might have banned fair, FD, yeah. which is a pretty common ban. Uh, 
for foxes, you don't want to deal with just getting around the laser yeah, without the, 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 the help of the platform. And now Emo Dinosaur with a little lead right now, so this kind of pick working out. Oh, he could have just forward smashed. He, he, he got a little yeah. antsy. This or he messed up the He had a lot of options, but he takes the first stock. Okay, this is where Emo Dinosaur gets to establish a lead. Either he's going to die really quickly right here, or he's going to get 40% off of Falco combo and get uh, Kevin out of crotch cancer percent. I should say so. Okay, Come and in. what's Kevin, there Kevin cover straight? Yeah. The call out. And I think there was, with regular getup, there are a lot of angles upwards you can also cover as well as straight with that right, that so, get up timing. I have a question for you. Who do you think wins the pit fight? The pit fight, Fox, I think, 100%. Yeah, just the drill shine. Just, yeah. There's so many hitboxes. But the thing is also, uh, you have a good point. Because, well, I mean, like, you bring up that there is, there's an argument to be made for Falco. Because his dare is just so good. Yeah. Uh, it's it's, 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 qual it's quality that. versus quantity. All right, here we get it. And oh, yeah, I like up smash. There was an, a shield angle from Mio Dinosaur, but that, if that hadn't been there, the up smash probably would have hit, honestly. Yeah, the shield stuff. But a really good presence of mind from Mio Dinosaur to shield angle that. Right, right. Okay, Kay. so back to neutral. Kevin's neutraling with a lot of jumps and double jumps. I don't. It seems to be working for now, but it seems really Bad dangerous. Because if, if you get caught out of the air with a double jump, Falco's just going to have a field day with you. Right. Okay. okay, he goes for a hard like read on the, the jump. Drill. The Don't thing is, he covered the the jump that Kevin did, but Kevin didn't just let it be a normal jump to let. He, he put a hitbox out, which was right. so important. Okay. Okay, uh, no yeah. He waits for his, his angle. Okay, he catches. He this catches him coming down. None of the lasers hit Nice. Though. Nice job by Kevin. He honestly had the right idea like, trying to get him below, like, yeah. use the lasers to lower his height so that he can get a oh, more uh, linear edge guard. Another yeah. masterful short to prevent the total reversal that's oh, okay, yeah. the up air for the stock. Nice two piece or shine to up air. Right. Okay. Okay, here we see Kevin sort of trans. Oh, no, he's still doing the jumps, but he's transferring into a more <laughs> trying to power shield lasers kind of neutral game. I don't really like the the way he tried to follow up on that grab. Yeah. He, he just wave dashed in an up smash. And that's a read, but it's an unsafe read. He can up air the same spot, get the same read, and you know, do a bit better. But he's here and I'm here, so yeah. I'm not gonna question his methods. Honestly, I think Emo Dinosaur is playing a pretty nice neutral game, but I think Kevin is actually out, out punishing him right now. Because if you look at a right lot here. of the the percentage of the game time wise, it's Kevin trying to get in and like right. Emo Dinosaur getting these little hits like that are preventing right, here him from stuffing get. his attacks. Okay, he goes for we that. Get another yeah. pit fight. All right, Emo Dinosaur reports. I think going into the pit as Emo Dinosaur is a huge mistake right now. Even if you think Falco wins the pit fight, Kevin's at 100%. You're at zero. Well, now you're not. But and so right. you really want something to lose going to the pit. Okay, yeah, he holds his position. He's waiting for Kevin to come out and maybe stuff him with a back air or an up tilt. Maybe I don't like tilt. the gun there. I think that's kind of dangerous. Okay, he just I gets a raw shield grab. That was kind of a bad aerial on uh, Kevin's shield, especially because he. Oh, turn and winner. Kevin doesn't cover it though. Okay. Right, to ledge. He's got one more mix up. No. And Kevin and gets that, but this. That, okay. And now to yes, ledge. ledge. Kevin, Kevin was set. a clean 2 0, double 2 stock. That was pretty uh, pretty emphatic from Kevin. Yeah. Kevbot's peak is very high. And yeah, I Kevin was. I think he's a big candidate to go far in this tournament. Yeah, right, I, I really like his chances. Up next, we are getting MYL and Weedlar. So we're going to get Marth Yoshi. M okay. I feel like, hmm, let me think about this. So, I don't think Marth, does Marth have any moves that go straight through Super Armor? He doesn't have, like, multi-hit moves that do, or, like... I don't think generally, I think Tip or Fair can, but, like, it takes something. Yeah, so I think the Super Armor probably going to be a really big factor in this matchup. Right. Uh, I think Yoshi, definitely a fan of crouch canceling, um, but if the Marth is, is spacing right, I think he should be safe from that. Yeah. Maybe crouch cancel down tilt. Mm, yeah. How far, do you know the range on down tilt that much? It's pretty big. Um, okay. This is a matchup that is generally said to be even or slightly Marth favor, which is among the best thing Yoshi has going for it in the top tiers. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if Weedlar can keep up with MIL. Yeah, Weedlar coming off a win against Anson, uh, really solid Falco, so yeah. he's, he's pretty hot right now, but we'll see.